What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Seth the Line Surgeon. And we back. We still sipping. And we still tripping. <laughs> this is the second part that I tipsy dog. That's why the intro is a little weird and a little awkward. I just want to talk about my first week. Um, still got my cigar going. As you can see. Yeah, then. I don't even, I think I cut the back wrong. I need a cigar cutter. It's mad weird. <laughs> anyway, you already know what time it is. Tips to talk. That's the best tipsy talk intro ever. <laughs> mm. Mm. So, first week, lawn care, finally. Like I was saying, uh, let me adjust the... Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's better. First week, lawn care. It's been the weirdest beginning of the season because normally when I first started in 2014-ish, 2013-ish, um... I used to start mowing like probably first week of April around here, Central Virginia, Richmond area. Then I then probably 2017-ish, 18-ish, it started warming up in the middle of March. So I was like, bro, I got to start cutting in the middle of March. So that's what I've been doing probably for the last four years. This month, it was just like half of the week in March. Every week in March. Half of the week it was like up to 70. The other half of the week is down to 30s. <laughs> it's just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And so it was kind of weird. I didn't know when to cut grass. Even this week, I, when I'm going out to cut the morning the Monday morning, this is like the second week in April. The Monday morning when I went out to cut, it was cold. I had to wear a hoodie on top of my um, long sleeve shirt. And so, and then also because I'm stuck on this schedule at my part-time job, it forced me, I it usually cut in three days. So now it forced me to cram all my yards. I mean, I usually cut over a span of four days. But this forced me to cram all my yards into three days. Which I was kind of mad at. But then I kind of like it because it gives me more free days during the week. You know, not to have to cut. So... There is that, you know, and I just have long days. I, I usually go out and I cut like seven or eight yards or over a four yard span, four day span. Now I'm cutting average 10 yards over a three day span. And then I have a couple of days where I'm doing like five or six, but most of it is long days. And I went out and did my first two, both of them had 10 yards. And it wasn't that bad, you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought. You know, I know y'all probably like, I cut 20 yards a day, Seth, or whatever. I don't, you know. I like to spread out my work. I'm not trying to kill myself.
but um yeah um I went out I'm trying to think of something that happened <laughs> I've gotten to the point where I I don't sweat losing customers bro and I, I don't want to sound complacent or arrogant about this and it's not because I'm sitting here look, smoking a fancy cigar and whatnot but like sometimes I show up the yards or like most of my yards are grouped together so I'll show up to cut a group of yards and one yards already cut and I just gotta cut the other one and I'm like thank goodness that saved me some time you know I'm not even mad you know and it's like I said it's not an arrogant thing but it's almost like if they got somebody else to cut it I know eventually they're gonna call me back I'm, I'm too consistent. I'm, I'm. They, they, their guys will cut good for one or two times. Maybe he's in a little local low baller guy. Next thing you know, he gonna stop showing up. He gonna be not on time. It's gonna be raining. He can't come out to cut in the rain, cause he might melt. And then guess who? Guess who gonna show up and cut the neighbor's yard? Super Seth. <laughs> And then they're going to call me back. So, I had one situation like that. It was two yards. And one yard was already cut. I cut the other yard and rolled out. Then I went to the, uh, another um, house. I mean, another street. Where I have like five yards on the same street. So... I usually go through and I cut off, I ride my zero turn to this house, this house. They all, all on like a whole block. Like, you know, so they had different spots on the block. So, I cut this house, cut that house. Then, uh, one of the customers called me. Now, this is like an older lady. Um, I've never met her in person. I just talked to her over the phone. And she's like, uh... Yeah, you know, I had talked to you last fall about coming out to clean some leaves and my and some sticks and you never called me back or you never came back. So I hired a new lawn care company. This the, the to cut my grass. But I can pay you for what you cut already. I was like, "Oh, okay. No, you you're good." Cause I cut the grass, but I hadn't weed eat it yet. So I told her she was good. Like I'm like I'm not sweating that. <laughs> that helps me out, cause I don't gotta weed eat your yard. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking in my head. But um, you know, it was kind of a vibe. Like she almost, you know, I don't know if she was trying to take a stab at me. Like kind of like, uh, not stab, but kind of like. You didn't do a good job, so I I switched to somebody else, and I'm like, what? Well, I didn't want to clean up. No, I don't even remember the conversation, but I'm pretty sure when she told me, I probably was like, bro, I don't want to clean up no leaves this winter time. Really? Now we telling ghost stories out here, bro. I'm gonna keep going because I got this ring light. <laughs> we telling ghost stories out here, bro. My light didn't went out. Anything happened on the tipsy talk? If y'all didn't hear from the last time, this is a um, fat bottom Betty. I don't know if I could get it to focus. Oh, maybe so. Fat bottom Betty. I don't smoke a lot of cigars, but uh. I got one while I was out. I've been saving it for a couple of weeks. And I said, hey, I might as well smoke it and do a tipsy talk. Now I'm smoking it on two tipsy talks. How about that? <laughs> and I'm sipping a little screwball peanut butter, which is almost out right now. But, um, 
Yeah, so she was like, you know, she tried to make it seem like, oh, um, you know, I hired somebody else. But I love that, bro. I love it. And the reason I love it is because, <sighs> um, <laughs> I love it especially when it's I have another customer across the street from them on their neighbor because bro it motivates me to make their neighbor's yard look so good I'm so petty I'm so petty extra petty when it comes to that bro I will do extra stuff in their neighbor's yard to make sure it looks good and while they're trying to f find out where they're long hair guy is and why he's not showing up I'm gonna be so consistent cutting their neighbor's yard and whatnot <laughs> oh. so yeah it's the second day of the long hair season I already lost two customers so that's how it is. I just want to get on this weird schedule. I got this weird three-day schedule. And see how it goes. I've, I've already turned down three or four people. Because I'm, I told them I'm only picking up anybody that's already in the area I'm at. If you're not in the area I'm at, I can't help you. I'm getting like, I, I, it's like crazy, like as I grow, I'm starting to understand people that's higher than me, like Naylor from um, Long Hair Rookie, he turned down so much stuff that I sent to him because they weren't in his area, and I used to be like, bro, you're crazy, bro, this is like 15 minutes from your house, and he's like, nah, that's too far, <laughs> and so I'm, in a way, I'm not doing the route density, density thing like Naylor, but I am, I have certain areas that I cut in already. So uh, if you're not in those certain areas, I can't help you, bro, Ham. I can't help you. So I'm going to go ahead and do this second shot. It's my, it's my first shot on this Tipsy Talk. But if you watched my last one, because this is a continuation, then um, um, what are we cheers into, bro? We already cheers to the lawn care season. We're, probably, we're gonna cheers to uh, ghost stories since I'm, I'm doing this in in the um, <laughs> in the dark. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Jeez. Got a little dribble, dribble. On my chinny chin chin. Is it still lit? I think so. Man. This got me feeling kind of like a grown up, bro. I kind of feel like a grown up. <laughs> um, talk about my setup. I so my Mustang was down the whole last season, right? And I saved up some money, right? I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I'm gonna give y'all a little behind the scenes. My plan was I'm gonna cut grass all summer. I'm gonna go one mower. Saved up some money, and I said I'm gonna buy me a mower over the winter time. That I'm gonna give y'all a tip. That's like the best time to buy mowers. They usually give you discounts because you gotta understand that they coming into the season. The the they come to the end of the season. They have a new mower shipped in the spring. So they trying to get rid of their old mowers. So the best time to buy mowers is like after the lawn care season. Right there before Christmas. So that's what my plan was. And I literally saved it up, bro. I had enough money to buy 
a brand new mower and I didn't do it I was just so cheap I just keep looking at that freaking Mustang I done had that Mustang for almost 10 years bro I bought it in 2013 it's 2022 and I feel like I want to get it fixed I know my I know my friend Romeo. I know uh, he can fix it, or I can drop it off somewhere to get it fixed. I just feel like I want to get it fixed. I feel like even if I put a new motor on it, it'll be worth keeping. It's just something I can't get rid of that thing, bro. My my brain is like this, right? Like I said, I'm very unorthodox with my thinking as y'all know I could go out here I, I know that Mustang like the back of my hand right I, I didn't change so much stuff on it uh, solenoids and everything I could go out here and buy a brand new mower or I could get that bad boy fixed cause my thing is it, it's it's not even a main mower it's a backup mower <laughs> you get what I'm saying and my thing is why am I gonna go out here and spend five six thousand dollars to have a backup mower you get what I'm saying like it's kinda it's kinda baffling to me so my thing is like I would rather spend, even if I had to spend two thousand dollars to put a new motor on the Mustang, I would rather do that just to have it as a backup. Plus, like I said, this over this winter time, I didn't do any leaf cleanups because the Mustang was down. So, and now that it's down, I realize how convenient it is to have that Mustang. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, oh my gosh, bro, that thing is so convenient. Let me, I'm going to get a, get a brew right quick. Uh, we are chilling tonight. <laughs> This has got to be, got to be top two laid back tipsy talk of all time, bro. In the dark. This is so awkward, bro. I don't even think I'm going to smoke this whole thing. I probably, just, I think you could save it if I put it out. But, um. Uh. Yeah, so right now I'm going gravely with the T-Bar. <sighs> yeah, so gravely, T-Bar. Um, oh, yeah, so I just got... It's so crazy when you buy commercial equipment, how long it lasts and you take care of it. I just took my 2014 Echo PAS 225 and my 2015 Echo PAS 225. Got it fixed and now they back running. That's crazy. Them, them trimmers almost 10 years old and still usable. I just used one of them to, to cut, uh, to hedge some bushes yesterday. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm running a slim setup, nothing fancy, no backups, living on the edge. <laughs> my backup to my Gravely is my, uh, walk behind, my T-bar. So, 
it is what it is. Pop the selkie on that bad boy and keep it rolling. So, um, hope you guys are having a good seat. I mean, having a good start to your season. Um, I think one of my next tipsy talks is going to be weed control. I've been following BYD, the big yard dog, Bermuda Grass Central on Instagram. He does a lot of information about uh, Bermuda uh, treatments. So I think I've been thinking about doing a tipsy talk on just talking about uh, just weed control in general. I don't really like doing a lot of treatment videos or information because I feel like it's 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 tight. Just just for a perfect example, BYD. He specifies in Bermuda because that's the area he is in. But all the tips he's getting might not apply to somebody that's not doesn't have Bermuda or is not in a warm weather area. So I just kind of try to stay away from that, you know. But hey, I, I figure this is the beginning of the season. Anybody that's in my similar area can use some tips. So um, that'll probably be my next tipsy talk. So look out for that. Anywho. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. Yes, sir.